Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. That is Picacho Peak Mountains. Look at that. And here's Picacho Peak State Park. I tried to get in here last night to camp. No way. This thing sold out for weeks. <laughs> anyway, heading down I-10. I got off the freeway. I thought we'd stop. We're going to do some sightseeing today. We're heading down to the Sorora National Park. Kind of skirts around the outside of Tucson. So, we'll just take us a scenic drive today. How about that? Wow, it's pretty here, huh? I bet the spring bloom is good, too. I'm not going to go all the way in here. I'm not going to pay a fee just to drive through once. On the way out, we'll get some really good pictures. There's some pretty big peaks there, huh? Nice and green. Tucson. Totally different than uh, down like in quartzite and stuff. really flat but they get more rain here I think lady there taking pictures we're about oh 30 miles north of uh, Tucson somewhere around there Yeah, stop here and get a shot with the phone. Boy, the winds are really picking up. There's your Kodak moment. There's your postcard picture perfect. Except for the no parking sign. <laughs> there you go. There's your picture. Sure is pretty here. And look at that. Getting a little color. There's a much better look at it. That is absolutely stunning. A lot of greenery going up through there. I don't think their campground's that big. It's not a very big state park. There you can see it off in the distance a little bit. But it was totally sold out. Looks like it goes back quite a ways. Then look how flat. <laughs> This flat countryside. And there is one busy highway, Interstate 10. Goodness. Trying to avoid that thing. Got a few gas stations here. But we're about 30 miles down to uh, the Sorora National Park. Kind of looking forward to that. See what we're going to run into. A little overcast. Blue skies down that way, breezy, but why not? Let's do it. Well, off to the interstate I go. I really don't have a choice to get down here. There might be back roads, I just don't know. So, we'll just jump on the interstate. It's only 30, about 30 minutes. We should be down in Tucson, Arizona. A lot of clouds coming in, storm front rolling through probably. So this is Interstate 10. <laughs> Heading to Tucson. Made it. We're going to exit up here shortly. I was kind of checking this on Google Maps. This uh, national park, it's different. It's right in... The town limits here, uh, city limits, kind of skirts right around it. 
So I'm just going to follow Google Maps, see where we end up. Because it looks like I got some city streets to go down through. It's kind of on the northwest side of town here, Tucson. Hey, grab a burger and fuel while you're here. <laughs> and it should be, looks like about four miles, five miles. up where those little mountains are up there. Wow, these homes in here are beautiful. Their yards are just full of the cactus. My goodness. Now we got some blue sky coming through. Kind of zigzagging through here. It's alright. Scenic. Here it is, make a left. If I knew the area better, there's probably better ways to get in here. All right, straight ahead, National Park. Now we're getting there. Look at the all the sororas. My goodness. They are just wallpapered everywhere. We've got to be getting close to the park. Ooh, bicycles. Boy, this is a big hill for a bicycle. Wow. Pretty dangerous road for a bike. Let me pull off here. Let them guys get up the hill. Here it is. Enter Eden National Park. Yay! Wow, the traffic through here. That steady line of cars. So far, everywhere I've been, it has just been packed, full of people. Isn't this pretty through here? Now, the way I'm reading the maps, I'm going to drive out of the park and then back in it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the farther I go, it gets flat again. Need to check the map. Ah, good. Pull out. Let me stop a second. I need to check the phone. Figure out where I'm at here. Okay. Yep. Looks like I'm going to drive out of the park and then have to come back in it. So, we're still on the right road. I don't care. Got nothing better to do today. Now, there's a trail right here. I don't think I'm going to take the van down it. Showed it on the maps. We'll just go the paved route. Ok, 
Okay, what's the signs? Nine miles to the visitor center. And yep, we're leaving the park. All right. Wow, look at the homes. How would you like to live here? Right next to a national park. Kind of unusual, huh? Normally you don't have this kind of residential around a big national park like this. Be absolutely perfect. Except for the heat. It gets hot here. Oh boy, does it get hot. I think up here we got to make a left. Yep. So if you want to get to the National Park, you make a left at the dollar store. <laughs> a little gas station here. I'm sure they're busy. So this is almost like having a National City Park right in your backyard. I've never been to one like this. I've been to a bunch of them. Okay, see what we find up here. Yay! All right, round two. We're gonna enter Sorora National Park again. <laughs> Let me get out a second. A lot of driving today. Take a look around. Wow. This is something like you'd see uh, in a movie or something, huh? Imagine riding your horse through here. No power lines, though. <laughs> no Wi Fi. Wow, these are absolutely beautiful. Wonder how old that one is. Amazing. Well, cool. All right, what do you say? Let's go on in, see what we can find. Here we go. Now this is different. On the right, you have residential, private property. All kinds of houses, big houses. And on the left, you have the National Park. So this road is actually the boundary for the park. Here we go, yay, visitor center. Yay, yay. <laughs> kind of a strange way to get in here. Now we're going into the park. Wow, it's just so scenic. So roars everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So it's fee based to get in here. It says pay at visitor center, but I got my senior discount. Lifetime pass. I get access to all the national parks. It's good for a lot of camping discounts, national monuments. All kinds of good stuff. It was $80 for a lifetime uh, pass, and I bought it three years ago. And oh my goodness, I've used it so many times. That thing has paid for itself over and over and over again. Because most of these parks, it's 
25 to $35 a car to get in them now. All right, Desert Discovery. There is absolutely no way I could park in here. That's one thing about the van, it's 22 feet long. Look at that guy parking there. Oh well, let's keep on trucking. A lot of traffic. Of course, it's right around uh, 1230 in the afternoon. Normally I try to get in these places early, early in the morning to avoid all this. But just the way it worked out today. Well, big building on the left, that must be their visitor center where you gotta pay. Wow, look at all the cars. All right, well, let's pull in. Oh man, there ain't a parking place to be had. I can't park in these. They're full anyway. <laughs> Where the RV's park, it's full too. Well, you know what? I really don't need to pay. I got my pass. I can show it. There's a nice view. Look at all those Aurora's. Just every shape and size. There's no one the same, huh? And look at all the cars parking where you're supposed to park an RV. This is where I could park. No way. All right. You know what? Welcome aboard the RV or TV tour van. We'll take our own tour. <laughs> what do you think? Old, old Tucson. Try to find that. pretty ride. Look at the yellow. Some of them uh, bushes are turning. Got some yellow flowers. I've seen a little bit of purple. Spring bloom is getting closer every day. Especially if you get a couple late rains in the desert. Oh my goodness. Even around quartzite you get spring bloom. We'll definitely chase it in April. just as far as you can see good thing they're protecting all this not very good access to this one though I've been in a lot of parks of course it's an old one still cool if you get a chance drive through this thing Not sure where I'm going to spend the night. Got to figure it out here. That's pretty. Look at the different colors of the hills. And just millions, and I mean millions of sorors. Cacti. Beautiful. Well, 
what do we got here? I think we're almost out of the park. Back to I-10, 86. Old Tucson. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is like a city park or something. Well, that's cool. Oh, cool. I see a pull out. Great. Finally a place to pull off. Let's take a break. Go check out the storyboards. Okay, this is called Tucson Mountain Park. Wealth of wildlife, trails, and history. I bet. Picnic areas, camping, yeah, it's sold out. Can't shoot a gun. Pretty good map. We are right up there. Right there, you are here. Okay. Well, we'll wander through this park. Not bad. Nice little stop. So, if you come visit Sorora National Park, <laughs> it's mainly a drive through. I'm sure there's hiking trails. I'm not much of a hiker. But just the scenery, my goodness. There's nothing like this anywhere else in the world, I'll guarantee you that. Absolutely beautiful. I think up here is this old Tucson. Huh. I think it's closed. Sure is. Looks kind of like a, what, tourist trap or something. Closed, you bet. Darn. Okay. Well, we're heading out of this thing. I, I'm going to find a place to pull off. Maybe make a lunch. Think about it. Figure out where I want to stay tonight. How about a sandwich with a view? There you go, huh? <laughs> Love it. All about being on the road. This is RVN 101. Enjoy. Whole wheat bread, too. <laughs> bon appetit. Journey continues.